All right, so in this video, I'm gonna share a conversation that I had with one of the agents that has gone through our Listing Agent Academy program for about a year. And she's gonna share a lot of great insights that I think may resonate with you. She's gonna share how she left her full-time job, how she's succeeding as a full-time real estate agent, the ups and the downs, all the things that she has learned in her first year in business that has led her to not only succeeding in her first year in business, not only successfully leaving a full-time career, but succeeding so much so that her brokerage tapped her on the shoulder to say, hey, can you take a leadership role with inside of our organization to help other new real estate agents succeed the way that you have? So I think you're going to get a lot of insights. You'll have a lot of good takeaways. So with that said, let's jump right into the conversation. You know What, what market are you in and, and how long have you been selling real estate there? Well, thank you so much for having me. I am in North Georgia and I just hit my one year anniversary in real estate. It's amazing. Well, congrats. And uh, I am super excited to to share that journey over the past year with, with the audience because I think a lot of people will resonate with your story because there's a lot of people who have gotten into the business recently and that first year can be very, very challenging. So why don't we uh, start there? You know, if you look back and say, these were the things that I was struggling with the most that you needed the most help with before we started working together? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> I was a teacher um, you know, for 16 years. I taught high school art, coached, you know, did that whole thing, had a fourth baby and said, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I need to do something else. I need to be present. And so I quit in a February and took like a week to kind of mourn the former or yeah. And, uh, signed up for real estate classes and a colleague said, Hey, I'm going to move. You can list my house when, when you get your license. And I was like, okay. So I got my license and had a listing pretty much right away. And I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing. Like, <laughs> yeah. And so I, even though I had, you know, purchased homes in the past, I still didn't understand the process. Um, there were, you know, just I, I now realize that there were things that were just never explained to me. And so I didn't know how the whole thing worked. And so I went about three weeks and realized I, I can't do this on my own. And I had been watching your videos on YouTube the whole time. Um, cause I'm a runner. And so when I would go on my training runs, which would be, you know, anywhere from an hour to three hours, I would just listen to you talk. Um, I consumed as much real estate content as I could. And, you know, I think I just clicked the link to get the scripts and I wanted to know more. I wanted to understand more of like, you know, just dive into the why, you know, why are we saying this like this? And so I pretty much after, you know, a couple weeks realized that I needed, I needed help. Yeah. Because I needed, I needed everything and I didn't want to go in halfway. I had quit my job, you know, I carried our insurance and it was a big mm -hmm. step to quit and failure was not an option either. And so I was going to do whatever it took to succeed. And so that's kind of where I landed or, you know, how I landed. Yeah. Here. So yeah, I love it. And thank you for that. And um, yeah, you took a big leap of faith in, you know, many areas of your life. And so, you know, for a lot of people we start working with, you know, it, it comes down to really three things. It comes down to like having a system for generating a consistent amount of leads and then having the process and a skill set that allows an agent to convert those leads into appointments and then having a compelling presentation to acquire new clients. And so which of those three things do you think, um, when you say everything, do you feel like you needed help with all three or was there one of those three that you needed help with the most? Well, I, you know, I, there's just so much information out there. It's information overload. And so I, I, it didn't make sense for me at that point to take from here, take from here, take from here, take from here, because I didn't have like the 
background knowledge and the skill set to be able to like marry all of these things together in a way that was like cohesive and made sense. And so I focused on, and you know, okay, backing up, I didn't even know that it was a sales job. Mm. I I mean, I, most people don't, I didn't, I was like, well, you know, I'm a teacher and I, you know, I, I know that I can communicate well with people and I'm building relationships. I'm building relationships, which it is that, but yeah. it's a sales job. Yeah. <laughs> and so I had to learn that part of it. And so um, you know, I your your program is it's it's so comprehensive. Like I can't even begin to articulate just the value in the program. And so I wanted to, you know, eat the elephant one bite at a time. And so I focused on for sale by owners. Sure. That was the only thing really that I, that I did. And then sphere kind of happened as a, as a byproduct, but, you know, I decided to kind of narrow in and really hit that hard. And so, you know, in the first six months, I closed 10 transactions, um, seven were listings and the other ones were, you know, but you know, a pair buyer. Yeah. Sellers that sold. Yeah. Sellers that bought. Sure. So let me ask you this, the, um, because we have been working together now for how many months in total? Um, I believe it was July of last year. Yes. So yeah. So we just had our year anniversary, right? So, um, if you, of all the things that, that we've worked on and that you've learned, are there maybe like, one or two standouts that you say this has been really going through the program listing agent academy for the past 12 months has been the most impactful in your business um it might not seem obvious at first but but mindset and focusing on your mindset and understanding why it matters and that it is hard this is hard but knowing that it's going to be hard and don't and not letting that you know be a barrier you know you understand that it's hard and you just bust through it every day and it's lonely and it's boring at times and you just have to push through it because when you're going through the motions of making your calls and you know trying to set the appointments and following up and all of that it it can feel very repetitive and so it's understanding I guess, I guess having the expectation of, you know, what it can be like, um, and f- truly believing yes. in yourself. Well, yeah. It doesn't, it, it doesn't surprise me. You know, I've said that for years and years and years. It's like of all the things that we're, we're going to teach an agent around pricing, our pricing model, our follow-up system, our skills. A lot of people say, I like the mindset training the best because that mindset uh, once you understand that self-belief to your point and you have some self-confidence, that's what's needed first in order to make anything else work at all. So no, that's a really good point. So let me ask you this, you know, I'm always kind of curious, you know, going back a year uh, ago, you were on your runs, you were watching some of my content on YouTube, you know, when you first said to yourself, okay, this thing's for me, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I believe in in working with, with, uh, with Brandon. What were some of the maybe concerns early on? Because I think this is important, right? Because to your point, there's messaging coming from all over the place and there's voices saying this, do this, do this. You know, transparently, what were some of the concerns you had coming into my world and joining the Listing Agent Academy at the beginning? In the beginning, it was, you know, I would read the script and I, I, I still to this day can't say fair enough and have it sound like it's like me but it's not about the words it's you know about how you say them and you should tweak you know any script to fit you but for me that was it because i was very literal like i have to read this and i have to be just like this and like so that that was it was just being able to say it and not sound robotic absolutely that's a great point you bring up amanda because yeah it's like you're, you're learning, especially when you don't come from a background in selling. It's like, I'm learning these new language patterns and it's so foreign. And so, yeah, I think a lot of people at the beginning, like, oh my gosh, that we get really scripted. But then once we walk people through internalizing them and really work on the delivery, I think it becomes a lot more comfortable. Would you agree? 
I 100% agree. And the fact that it's broken down, you know, this is why we say this. We are going to, you know, disarm them right away. We need to, you know, have the agreeable acknowledgement and then, you know, respond accordingly and pivot. So there's like a formula to it. And for my brain, it makes sense. And it's not just words on the page. And it's broken down in a way that, okay, I understand why I'm saying this and why I'm asking this. Love it. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Let me ask you this, for members that are joining Listing Agent Academy now, right? I know you've been part of the community now for like, like we said, for about a year or so, but for people that are just joining right now, you know, if you could get on a coaching call with them or you could jump on a call with them and you could say, hey, here's a piece of advice that might help you where you're at right now, what would maybe one or two things you could share with them to help them become, you know, as successful as you have been with inside of our, our program? Other than mindset, because that can only take you so far, because um, you have to act on it. You you have to get you have to get the skills, and you have to practice, and you have to, you know, do it over and over and over again. And then within the group, you know, we're able to hop on calls with one another, even if they're in you know California. We'll you know, you know call. I can call someone out of the blue and just start. You know, I don't even have to let them know ahead of time that I'm right. calling. It's like, hey. You know, or, or you know, I, it just goes right into a, a role play kind of situation. Yep. Um, and I, I, you know, have tried to do that, like on, you know, here, and it, not everyone's open to that. And so having that kind of like community, kind of like community, yeah. yeah, yeah, makes a lot of sense. I, I, skills. Yeah, skills. It's all skills. It's mindset, and then your skills, and then it's your action, right? Right. And then coming out of the like the crazy time that we just you know, came out of, you know, you, like you point out, like it's, it was an anomaly. It, anyone really could sell a house and it's, I, and I didn't want to fall into that category. It was important that I really knew, you know, how to price a home, how to do a CMA, you know, how to just talk to people and close the deal and get, you know, get the appointment, get the listing. Like I wanted this, the skill set and this has given me that. I love it. I love it. Well, Amanda, let me ask you this. You know, we we talk to, I don't know, there's probably five or 600 agents that reach out every month who are thinking about joining the Listing Agent Academy. And, you know, we can't help everybody is the truth. You know, I guess from your perspective, what would you say to these people that are maybe thinking about joining? Maybe they're thinking about not joining. They don't know if it's for them or not. What What, what advice or message would you give those people? If you just trust that if you take the things and do the activities and practice, and if, if you do it, if you, you have to decide that you're going to do it just because you sign up for something, it doesn't matter what program it is, just because you sign up for it doesn't mean you're going to be successful. You have to, you have to do the work. Yeah. I love it. Behind you, that, do the work. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. That's our that's our motto, right? You gotta you, you can't you gotta show up. You gotta do the work to get the results, and we'll, we'll we'll show up for you too. We'll lay out the process, and we'll show you exactly what to do, how to do it. But you're right. I mean, at the end of the day, I think that people getting into this business, we're 1099 independent contractors, and they have to show up for themselves the same way they would have if they were working for someone else. You agree? Yes. Yes. And that, and I've, I've heard that along the way, you know, it's, you know, how people will show up to their nine to five for their bosses and work for their bosses without question, even when they don't want to, even if they feel like crap. But when it comes to putting that same into their own business, a lot of people won't do it. And yeah. then, and that kind of, that kind of clicked in my head too. It's like, man, he's right. Like, yeah. you know, why, why not have a schedule that I'm following? Why not do these things every day for me and for my family? 